Hey guys, GNG here. So today we're going to be talking about Black Ops 4 and the progress that it's made since its release. Now, we're going to start back in the beta. So in the beta, it did have really good ratings. It was received pretty well. There were some problems and bugs, but everyone expected those to be fixed once the game was released. And since Black Ops 4 has been released on October 12th, it has had quite a few updates. When it first was released, it was a little broken, and ever since, it has progressed and gotten a little bit better with each update. Now, with these updates, it still hasn't appeased fans completely. There are still quite a few things that people are having problems with. A lot of connection issues, a lot of lag, and a recent discovery has found that the servers are running at a 20 hertz tick rate, which means that the server is receiving our data much slower than it was even in the beta. In the beta, it was up to 60 hertz. Now, I don't know why they have lowered it. They claim it's because they want to increase server stability. In my opinion, that's a, a just an excuse. It's not really what they're doing this for. They marketed this game up with a lot of hype, and they also ramped up everything in the beta so people would want to buy this game. They would see these streamers and these videos of how Blackout, how multiplayer, how all of it was working and if it would be worth getting. And they knew once they bumped that up during the beta that people will see a much better product than what they were actually planning to deliver. Treyarch is playing a little game with us, and they do plan to bring back loot boxes, which in my opinion is not a good idea. The community has not received this very well, and in my opinion loot boxes shouldn't be in games, they should give us the full game and DLC content to keep us coming back. They shouldn't take DLC content out of the main game. Throughout my time playing Call of Duty Black Ops, I've been diving more into multiplayer as Blackout is not really my thing, I think it is a good mode. I think they did really well with this. There are some improvements that need to be made, obviously. But overall, the game is running pretty well outside of the 20 hertz tick rate, obviously. Now, if we look at the zombies community, they seem to have been kind of hosed in this. A lot of these updates don't really address a lot of the main issues that people are having in zombies maps. The community has persevered through this though, and they're still trying to reach those high round games. When they do get to those high round games, a lot of them have noticed that you do get a blue screen error and you have to start over. This happened somewhere in the 90s to 100s, uh, I'm not exactly sure. Easter eggs are being found still in this game, which means they did a pretty good job with zombies if it's taking the community a little bit longer to find all of these Easter eggs. I think they did a really good job on the IX Easter egg. That's the main one that I've been playing, and I've seen a lot of headway in figuring out all these Easter eggs. Overall, with all of these updates and changes, they've done a lot of nerfing, which I'm not a big fan of. I believe they just need to keep buffing other classes to bring them up to par. Since they keep deciding to raise and lower stats of various weapons and attachments, they are also changing the way some of these things work. With these changes, it completely changes the meta. It shakes things up. Not a lot of people are receiving these well, and people are asking for more changes in what they've been asking for since the release. It seems that Treyarch is slowly working towards those things, but I'm not quite sure when they're going to get to all of these problems and bugs that can potentially make this game broke. When you're shooting a guy, you have your red dot on him, you, you're shooting, you're firing, and it just doesn't seem to be hitting him. That is the latency. That is the issue that a lot of people are running into. I think that that main problem right there, for me, is pretty game breaking. I think they really need to work on those servers and the connections because if they can tone that back up to where it was in the beta, then a lot more people will be happy and can handle these other issues a lot better. With all that being said, I do believe Black Ops 4 is a good game. 
it just needs some work. And I believe Treyarch will provide the much needed changes that the community is asking for. Let me know down in the comments below, what do you think? Do you agree with some of my statements? Do you think there's something that I missed? I'm interested to hear and I look forward to the future updates that are going to come to this game because I really do enjoy playing this and I still play this daily. Other than that guys, please leave a like if you enjoyed and subscribe to join the GNG squad as I post videos daily. I post about various games, info, news, reviews, and I'm going to be starting a new series here soon so be sure to check that out. And I do stream over on Mixer every day and a little bit longer on the weekends so if you're into that kind of thing shoot on over and uh, leave me a follow other than that guys i'll catch you on the next one deuces